Hello friends, today I will discuss with you a very different method of analyzing speed data on a highway. Speed data are analyzed for a variety of reasons. These data are generally presented in the form of a normal distribution and the normal distribution is defined by two parameters mean and standard deviation. Speed data will follow a normal distribution if they are distributed in a manner that there is equal number of vehicles moving at slow speed and high speed. In case of mixed traffic, it may not always be true. And frequency distribution and cumulative frequency distribution curves are the two methods that are generally used to show the speed distribution on a highway. When the density of the cumulative frequency is plotted, it may exhibit one, two or more models. Now these distributions are called unimodal, bimodal or multimodal respectively. A review of literature sh shows that for speed data shown in this figure here, a normal distribution is used. But there is no distribution available for the bimodal speed distributions like this. Now in this session I will explain a generalized method that can be used for modeling the data which do not follow a unimodal distribution. The cumulative distribution function of a unimodal distribution will be a S-type curve like this whereas for bimodal distribution it will be a kind of step function that will have two S in the distribution. When this S-shaped distribution is plotted on a log log scale, it becomes a straight line initially and then gradually saturates to the top that is p is equal to 1 or p is equal to 100 percent. The initial portion of this curve is a straight line and its equation can be written as p is equal to v upon v star power m. Now here P is the proportion of vehicles at or below speed V star. M is the slope of the initial straight portion of the curve, the straight portion of the curve M and this is the V star and this is called P star. Now this V star is referred here as a transitional speed because this indicates the point from where this curve, curve changes from a straight line to curvilinear. Now how this V star is determined? We extend this straight portion of the curve to P is equal to 1 and then drop a perpendicular here. This is the speed on x axis V star and corresponding proportion is P star. Now for a very large speed P becomes 1. That is, when V is infinite, then P tends to be 1 or you can say here 100 percent. And therefore, if you combine these two equations, you get the complete equation for the curve P is equal to V star upon V power M upon N plus 1 raised to the power minus N. And when you differentiate this equation with respect to speed, the probability density function small p will be given by this equation. Now this equation has three parameters m, v star and n and a normal distribution has only two parameters that is mean and standard deviation and therefore this distribution is more flexible than a normal distribution. These parameters are estimated like this the slope of the m is the slope of the initial straight portion of the curve v star is obtained by extending the initial straight portion straight line portion to p is equal to 1 as i told you and when you substitute v is equal to v star in this equation you get the value of n as minus 1.4427 log of p star so that is how three parameters are estimated for the distribution m, v star and n. 
Now, one of the advantages of this equation is that it is invertible, means the speed corresponding to a probability p can be expressed if you rearrange these terms vp is equal to p raised to the power 1 minus n minus 1 whole range minus n upon m into v star. So, you can calculate the speed corresponding to a given probability. Similarly, bimodal curve or bimodal distribution curve will consist of two speed fractions. The fraction corresponding to lower speed is called the lower fraction and corresponding to higher speed it is called upper fraction delta p1 and delta p2 this is delta p1 and this upper one is delta p2 so the equation for this would be for the first part and for the second part sum of these two where v star 1 m1 and n1 are speed distribution parameter for the lower fraction and v2 star m2 star m2 and n2 are speed distribution parameters for upper part of the curve. So, this is the equation for lower part, this is the equation for the upper part. And the values of n1 and n2 can be calculated using these equations. But to illustrate this concept further, let us take example. We collected field data on 19 sections of National Highway and State Highways in India. All these sections were 7 meter wide pavement and 3.6 meter wide earthen shoulders on either side. The sections were free from the effect of intersection, bus stop, park vehicle, curvature and pedestrian that is the requirement to have the uninterrupted flow on the section and data were collected by video recording technique. A longitudinal trap of 60 meter was made on the carriageway for the measurement of speed and recording was done for about 2 hours. And all speed data were taken under free flow conditions when headway between the vehicles was greater than 8 seconds. Now, this table shows you the traffic composition of fast moving vehicles and slow moving vehicles and what is the ratio of fast and slow moving vehicles on all the 19 sections which we selected for this study. And here you can see that the traffic volume range is from 297 to 1095 vehicles per hour and ratio of fast moving vehicle to slow moving vehicle is ranging from 96% to 4% to 64 to 36% means 4% slow moving vehicle and 36% slow moving vehicle. So there is a wide range of traffic volume as well as traffic composition. An idea here is to show or to understand whether there is effect of slow moving vehicle on unimodality or bimodality of speed data. Now this table shows you the speed statistics of vehicles, car and jeep they were grouped together and these vehicles had maximum speed of 102 km per hour with minimum of 30.5 km per hour with a mean of 66.35 standard deviation 11.56 km per hour and coefficient of variation 0 0.174. Similarly, truck and buses have a speed variation of 30 to 80 km per hour, two wheelers 31 to 80, three wheelers 22 to 49.47, tractor 16 to 45 and bicycle 9 to 26 km per hour. Now, this is the distribution of data at one section and you can see here this is the, the the orange one here is the expected frequency whereas the blue one is the observed frequency and you can say you can see here that the data follow a normal distribution now here chi square value was permiss within permissible limit but when you plot this data on a log log scale the curve becomes like this. So, this is the initial state portion and if you extend the initial portion to p is equal to 1 and drop a perpendicular, you get p star here and you get v star here on x axis. So, you can measure m and you can 
find out what is the value of v star and what is the value of p star and if you know these values you can find out what is the value of n so the parameters of this distribution are m is 2.36 n is minus 5.43 p star 43 and v star 35.5 km per hour similarly if you take another section where you can clearly see two peaks one peak is here and one peak is here when these data are plotted cumulative frequency distribution data are plotted on log log scale it will be like this so now you have two limbs one rising then flat and then again rising and then it becomes asymptotic to p is equal to 100 so here you can calculate what is the value of m1 that is the lower percentage and what is the value of m2 and you will also find out what is the value of p1 and what is the value of p2 right and v1 star and v2 star are measured on x axis so you can find out all parameters of this distribution also now the question is how do we know that a particular speed data will follow a unimodal or a bimodal distribution it was observed that the bimodality in the speed data does not depend much on proportion of motorized and non motorized traffic rather it depends upon how speeds are distributed in a sample and therefore we defined a term called speed spread ratio now this spread ratio is used in this study to explain this bimodality or unimodality in the speed data and this is defined as v85 minus v50 upon v50 minus v15 so this is the distance between mean and v85 and this is the distance between v50 and v15 on a cumulative distribution function now what we observed after analyzing all 18 data 18 sections that the speed data will follow the normal distribution curve or you can say unimodal curve when this speed ratio or spread ratio is ranging between 0.69 and 1.35 if it is less than 0.69 then also it will follow a bimodal if it is more than 1.35 then also it will follow a bimodal curve if the value of spread ratio is between these two values then it will be a unimodal curve so this is the table showing unimodality and bimodality on in speed data on all the 19 sections and you can say that out of 19 sections selected only five sections followed unimodal data and on remaining 14 sections the data followed by model distribution this table shows spread ratio at different sections as estimated from field data and you can see here the unimodal is only at four five locations and at remaining location it is bimodal so generally speed data follows normal distribution when this spread ratio is between 0.69 and 1.346 otherwise it will follow a bimodal distribution so friends i have demonstrated a unique method of analyzing speed data thank you very much for watching this video you can post your questions in the comment box